If an English side is going to win this year's Europa League, then the route they'll have to take to get there has been laid out. There are four Premier League sides left in the competition, and they've been handed last 32 sides of varying difficulty. Tottenham Hotspur have been handed one of the tougher matchups. Andre Vias Boas and his side face French outfit Lyon, a team who had joined top of League 1. The fact that we played Lyon, you know, used to Champions League, uh, to being in the Champions League, uh, used to winning trophies, uh, it's an important reference for us because we, um, if we want to set ourselves and our targets into Champions League qualifications, this is the type of team that we face. You know, teams with a winning mentality, full of uh, quality players. If they win that tie, they'll face either Inter or Cluj in the last 16. Meanwhile, Liverpool have also been given a daunting task. Two games of Russian side Zenit St. Petersburg. We've had the experience, of course, of, of Russia and, uh, you know, it's a good draw. I think it was important for us to, it was great. We won the group, which meant uh, the second leg is at home. It's always exciting. It takes the most important thing. We're in the draw for the next round. If they progress, then Swiss side Basel or Ukrainian outfit Dnipro await them in the next round. Alan Pardew's Newcastle have a trip to Ukraine to look forward to in the last 16, after they were drawn of medalist Kharkiv. It was a tough uh, draw in terms of the travel. Uh, the opposition I know very little about. I can't even comment on that until such time as we do some studying. A victory for the Magpies over two legs. We'll see them play Andy Makakla or Hanover. Finally, European champions Chelsea play Sparta Prague after dropping to the Europa League following their Champions League elimination. We could be one of only four other clubs that have won all of the European competitions at club level. So that's something that we want to strive for. And you've only got to look at the teams in the competition that are left. And it's not dissimilar to the Champions League standard, you know, with the Benfica's, the Inter Milan's. And so this is an important competition and in Rafa we've got a coach who's been there before and he will stress the importance of this tournament as well. Ajax or Steyr Bucharest await Rafa Benitez's side if they make it through.